Sarah Quinn here and so excited. After like three months, we are doing another episode of Furry Friends. Joining me right now is Stacy and Erica from the Stark County Sheriff's Office Dog Warden Division and with two special guests. Actually, no, five special guests. <laughs> Stacy, do you want to introduce everybody to us? Yes. So this is my daughter, Eva. Daughter, Penelope. This is my awesome technician, Erica. Fantastic. And we are joined by five squirmy, fluffy babies. And this is a very episode of Furry Friends because with COVID going on, you guys may not understand that kitten season uh, for rescues, they've seen an extra layer of struggles when it comes to it because of COVID. Uh, and Stacey, you're going to illuminate on those issues uh, with us today. Yeah, so unfortunately with COVID, uh, any of the routine spay and neuters was halted. So usually, you'd be getting a lot of like the trap near release. And unfortunately it was right at the time that all of the animals are starting to breed or reproduce. So any animal that was scheduled to get fixed, there was accidental breedings with dogs. And then the trap near release ones, all the strays have been getting litter after litter. So all the rescues are really getting overwhelmed with the amount of kittens, pregnant moms, cats that either need medical care, need to be fixed or need to find homes. Um, so right now we're really, really asking for people to reach out to your local rescue, see how they could use your help, either, you know, financially or to foster or even to adopt one of these guys to get them into your home. So, Absolutely. Now, these five are a special case. They came with a, a little bit uh, extra need for medical attention. Do you want to tell us what's going on with these babies? Yeah, so we have these four here are part of a litter, and there's, I believe, we have two more of the litter. Is that right? Yeah, six all together, and they were all born with heart murmurs. Oh. So you rate them, like the lowest heart murmur is a one, and the worst is a six. And for this litter, some of the kittens have a one, and some of them have a six. So oh. we're going to be continuing the medical care for them. And um, we are going to be scheduling an echo to check and see what's going on with these guys to see if we can help them for long term uh, before we do put them up for adoption into their homes. But obviously, there's financial in that, so you know, it's, it's something that we're willing to take on and try to help them. And then we have this little cutie here. This is Erica's foster. <gasps> Hi. This is Anastasia, and Miss Anastasia was saved from outdoors as well. And her sister was adopted, so now she's looking for a home as well. Oh, now, Stacey, we were talking a little bit how it's interesting how people seem to give more and have more for dogs, but not so much for cats for some reason. Yeah, you know, it's. I think a lot of people see dogs and it, I don't know, I'm not sure what the answer is, but there's more I'm, of a drive to I'm, help and support the dogs. And maybe because there's just so many cats out there, like, that people are just like, oh, there's just a lot of cats. I don't know what the answer is, but yeah, on a scale of like fundraising, awareness, things like that, like stray cats or cats that need homes, just in general, I don't think there's as much attention for it, unfortunately. Okay, so just to review, if someone wants to help out right now with this explosive kitten season, what are some steps that they can take? Step one. So step one, see what rescue you want to help. There are so many out there kittens right now you know either if they want to donate them or see if they want to apply to foster for them absolutely cool well thank you so much stacy and everybody else and i hope that these kittens uh they're in the best hands ever so i hope that they're able to like get their heart murmurs under control so they can ha find happy families and also anastasia i know you're going to find a great family because oh my <laughs> god <laughs> all right thanks so much guys thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.